Morning everyone and welcome to the first day of Vlogmas 2015. This morning I just got up and got dressed. Like honestly, um, about 10 minutes ago got up. Uh, I know that's awful and I feel like such a lazy poop. It's already 10 o'clock I believe. Um, and Audrey's still in her jammies. Like we have literally just been cuddling all morning and I feel so awful. But I know I had a good reason. Hi Mitten. Baby girl. She's such a cutie when she sleeps. Yes, I know our room is disgusting on that today. Um, but anyway, uh, last night, well, I guess this morning, I was up till 5.30 in the morning with the worst gallbladder attack. Um, and it was just awful. So I didn't really get much sleep <laughs> last night. Uh, and yeah, so I slept in a little bit. And I don't know if any of you guys experience this because I know there's other people who've experienced gallbladder attacks especially throughout and after pregnancy from the comments and stuff like you guys have told me has this happened to you basically um, where you at the day after you have an attack you just feel like absolute poop like you just feel so blah and gross and like your tummy hurts all day like is that just me or is that like a general just gallbladder issue thing um, let me know in the comments below. But anyway, had a rough night. Very, very rough. Thank God Audrey slept through the night because I don't know what the hell I would have done. Lane can't wake up throughout the night. He just, he, that's just something he can't do. When he, the second he gets woke up, A, he's rude. Like, rude to the next level. The second he gets woke up at all, I want to punch him in the face. So it's not, <laughs> it's not that productive. Um, but also, he's an electrician, so he's working with electricity all day. And he gets so tired from the slightest lack of sleep. So he just, he can't wake up with her when he's going to work. That's just not something he can do. So uh, I would have had to wake up with her. Well, I guess not wake up with her, but try and feed her or whatever. And I have no idea how I would have done that in the state I was. I have no idea. I spent half the night on the floor. <laughs> just being honest. So, thank God she slept through the night. She slept right from 12.30ish, right till 8 o'clock. So that was not bad at all. I couldn't believe it. She's slowly starting to sleep more and more and more, which is awesome. I know we are so grateful for having a baby that can sleep for long periods of time. Right now she's going through a growth spurt though. So like every half hour, sometimes to hour and a half, she wants to eat. And she eats a lot. And it's really scaring me. Because for a while, when we switched her over to the 4-ounce bottles, if you guys remember from my two-week update, um, she started getting sick, um, and we start like, just from 4 ounces alone in, like, a two-hour period. So we slacked her back a little bit, but she hasn't really let us throughout this growth spurt. Like, over the course of a half, I remember yesterday, over the course of an hour and a half, she had 7 ounces. So... I know that's a lot for a month old. Yeah, she's a month old um, on the 3rd. Uh, so I know that's a lot, and it's just, it's freaking me out. So regardless, she seems fine. She hasn't gotten sick at all since she started this growth spurt. By the way, if you guys know, if you guys are wondering why I know, like, she's in a growth spurt, we have the Wonder Weeks app, which is amazing. If you're wondering, like, if your child's just acting strange and you're like, I have no idea what's going on, they're not sick, um, Wonder Weeks really just shows you when they're going to be going through developmental changes or different growth spurts um, throughout their first year, I believe, maybe two years. I'm not exactly sure. I didn't look ahead that far, um, but I know it's definitely the first year. And it will just warn you about a day in advance when they'll be going through those, when the range is that they'll be going through those developmental growths. So you can kind of mentally prepare yourself and be like, oh, she's acting strange. You know, I don't need to take her to the doctor. This is why. So anyway, she's going through a growth spurt right now, and she's acting a little funny, you know, she's a little bit more clingy, she needs to be fed a lot more often, and it's just a little scaring me a little bit. So anyway, uh, not doing a whole lot today. I had so much planned, so, so much. I was going to film videos today, because uh, I haven't filmed like a formal video. I know, I know. That just behind me on that ledge is just awful. That's where Lane puts all of his midnight snacks is up on that ledge like whenever he's done with his dirty dishes. And I haven't cleaned it off in a few days and it looks awful and it's, uh, I am so ashamed. Anyway, <laughs> um, 
uh, I had I was planning on filming two videos today because I haven't filmed a formal video in so long it feels like I haven't filmed a video in so long but really I just put up a video I think it was like Monday of last week so it's only been like a week since I put up a video so it's not that bad but it feels bad anyway um, so I was planning on filming two videos today not getting any of that done. I was planning on doing some errands today. Uh, I was planning on doing Audrey's handprint ornament because um, we really want to do that while she's still young because we don't want to miss out on the size of her little hand because it's growing every day. Um, and we were hoping to do like a little handprint ornament for the tree. We bought the kit and I just, I'm not, probably not going to be doing that today. Um, I've just, I had a, such a list. I had a list of like on wonder list I have a list of like 12 things that I needed to do today I'm probably not gonna get any of it done the only thing that I've done yet today is switched over laundry and I don't know if I'm gonna be doing a whole lot else other than laundry and taking care of baby girl today because I just feel that poopy so we might be just cuddling up and watching Mad Men all day and that mightn't be for a very interesting vlog but that that's just how it's gonna be so we will see but I just I thought I'd just forewarn you guys that today mightn't be that interesting because I'm really not feeling up to it um yeah and baby girl had to sleep in our bed last night because she was just not feeling it and of course I couldn't sleep then as well I know some people are very comfortable with co-sleeping I am not it freaks me out both me and my fiance we take up so much of the bed on our own we both move a lot around uh, both move a lot, around a lot in our sleep and it freaks me out to think that like such a little human is in between us and she could easily be crushed so I it, it just it freaks me out like we have this little bassinet beside our bed and I think it works great uh, I have a bottle in there right now and this is like her favorite toy that she can't go to sleep without uh, we have this cute little bassinet beside our bed I think this works fine but apparently she doesn't so um uh, it was just it was just a stressful night overall anyway it's about 10 o'clock in the morning. I don't know how much I'm going to get done today. Whatever I do, I will vlog for you guys. Why? Because it's Vlogmas and it's December 1st and Christmas is coming. Woohoo! We put up our Christmas tree over the weekend, which was really, really fun. Um, uh, we also got a bit of wedding planning done, which I know a few of you guys have mentioned. Um, because I remember a few months ago I mentioned that I was doing something and I didn't really want to tell you guys about it yet. And yes, I am engaged. We're planning a wedding. That's what's going on. <laughs> so uh, we got a little bit of wed wedding planning done, which was great. Um, we still haven't done anything that we are supposed to have done by this point, which kind of sucks. But we did give ourselves a lot of time, which is nice. I would definitely suggest that to anyone who has kids or is planning on having kids between now and their wedding. Give yourself plenty of time. Like we started looking around, we started planning the wedding, I guess, over the summer. And we made the date for November 2017. And it seems like a long time when you first pick it out. But in reality, between having kids, taking care of those kids, pregnancy, bad days, mommy brain, between all of it, it's, and then financial burden of kids as well, trying to plan a wedding and pay for the wedding, I just, I couldn't imagine doing it on a shorter time frame. <laughs> I honestly couldn't. So that would be my number one tip for anyone who's getting married, who either has kids or is planning on having kids, give yourself plenty of time like I'm talking 18 months plus give yourself time like do not try and do this in like two months do not it's not gonna work out unless you're gonna do destination it's just it's not gonna work out anyway enough of me rambling I will talk to you guys later okay guys so my thumbnail magically disappeared no idea why but I just put up my vlogs giving video from uh few days ago uh I know a lot of you guys thought it was weird that I was doing vlog saving don't really care I celebrate American Thanksgiving. That's just how it is. Uh, so I did Vlogsgiving and it was fun. So go check it out. It's currently up. It went up yesterday. Uh, I was really late on the whole uploading it front. Well, I guess it was only four days. So um, anyway, go check out my Vlogsgiving video. Good morning, little one. No, I don't need that. Mm -hmm. Mom's fuzzy duckling. I do need <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. What can I do? You want to tell me? Look at your hair. Morning. Excuse Morning. Good morning, little one. For the last six months. 
Hey guys, so we had to come upstairs because baby girl was hungry. So we're just hanging out on the couch now. I decided to start my madman upstairs because I thought I'd be up here for a little bit. Let me show you guys the tree while I'm busy. So this is the tree. That's a very, very old angel. We're very lucky to have kept it this long. I believe it's from 1995, maybe a little before then. So it's beautiful. I know the lights aren't on right now. I'll probably show to you it again tonight when the lights are all on, but I just, I love the way it turns out every year. So just changed baby girl and just to another sleeper. This one's from Baby Gap, but I knew we'd just be cuddling today in bed, so I didn't think of putting on like a whole new outfit when I didn't have to. This is her little outfit. Like I said, just didn't want to put her in anything cumbersome. Hi, baby girl. Hiya. And I love this nursing pillow for lying her in. She just loves it because she can sit up a little bit, but she's not like being forced to sit up. Like she's just kind of lounged, but she can still see everybody. So that's nice. Now we're just going to go back to cuddling, aren't we, baby girl? Aren't we? Back to cuddling. Hey everyone, so it's currently one o'clock and this little missy just got sick. All over me, all over her. So we both had a wardrobe change. This is Lane's favorite outfit on her. And it's a little sleeper from Carter's. Anyway, just thought I'd give you guys a little update. I have done absolutely nothing but watch Mad Men. Just all throughout today. Absolutely nothing. Uh, been basically just hanging out because I felt so sicky. And apparently Baby Girl has too. So we're just hanging out around the house. I got a candy cane. Just a pretty chill day, I think today's gonna be although I have piles of laundry that needed to be folded so that might be happening once daddy gets home Lane gets off at three so that's only another couple hours so I might wait till then because she's really fussy right now and she doesn't really want to be left for long periods of time without being held and I really hate being screeched at especially when I'm trying to do laundry and she tends to do that a lot so <laughs> I'm just gonna wait until he gets home to do that um, and then he, he's also gonna help me out with the room he said he said for me not to bother with it until he got home so that was nice of him so we're gonna do that tonight. I know, so exciting. Uh, this is why I don't vlog. <laughs> this is why I don't normally vlog because this is my life. Uh, but yeah, so fun. I got puked on. Hey guys, so I have a question for you. So I just went onto YouTube and I saw that a bunch of YouTubers put up their Vlogmas videos for today. Um, let me know what you think. Because uh, to me, like Vlogmas, you'd vlog on the first day of December and then have it up on the second day. But would somebody else do it differently? Like, because obviously other people are doing it differently. So how, how does this work? <laughs> I I don't know. Because to me, like you'd film on the day, first day of December. You know, I don't know. And then tomorrow I'd upload Vlogmas day one. Does that make sense? Like. I don't know. To me, it just makes sense that way. I don't know. You guys leave me comments down in the comments below. Am I doing this wrong? If so, tell me and I'll try and fix it. But I don't know. Just seems weird to me. <laughs> Meow. Anyway, guys. So today. What do you. Sleepy baby. Anyway. I think I'm going to call it a day because I am just feeling so sick and Lane just got home so he can watch Audrey so I think I might try and get some sleep. So anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully I'm feeling better so we can do some more stuff, you know, because basically I just laid in bed all day. But regardless, I hope this was enjoyable. Make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Hopefully not so close up to my face.